Hi, uh, my name is Rahul Jalan and I am a student of uh, part-time uh, M.Tech in Intelligent Systems at uh, NUSISS. Uh, this module is the second module in the uh, M.Tech course which is uh, called Reasoning Systems. We have covered a lot of ground in this module. Uh, we started with, we learned about various search techniques such as uninformed and uh, heuristic searches and their representation. Uh, we learned about various optimization techniques such as uh, evolutionary computing and uh, GA. Uh, based techniques. Uh, then we learned about uh, knowledge uh, discovery uh, and data mining. Now this last uh, data mining techniques is what we have used uh, to enhance our previous project that we developed in the machine reasoning uh, module. Uh, just to recap, uh, we had developed a car recommender system uh, for the new car buyers in Singapore. So basically our, uh, the based on the profile of the buyers, um, our system can recommend the make and the type of car that they should go for. So previously we had used uh, um, survey results, uh, we had used expert opinions and to derive some heuristics uh, to come up with the business rules. Now we have uh, enhanced the same system using uh, by performing data mining and predictive modeling to come up with a decision tree. The inductive algorithm that we used is the ID3 and uh, my colleague Ajay Singh will now take you through more details about that. Thank you. So we augmented the machine, what we did in the machine reasoning uh, project for the car recommender system. We are augmenting that system with the data mining capabilities and accordingly we are augmenting the rule sets uh, that have been defined in the machine reasoning project for car reasoning system. So to recap, we had this user input form which captures a few inputs from the end users, um, prospective car buyers, and accordingly, then it gives a set of inputs. Um, and this is how the output screen or the recommendation screen looks like. Now, <clears throat> as part of the um, reasoning system, we saw that especially two, two components to start with, which is the car make and the car type can augment, can be augmented with data mining. Um, now, as part of, just to recap, we had, as part of the machine reasoning system, we had captured a sample set, and which is what I'm showing now. So as you can see, these were the samples which were collected. This is, these are the raw inputs that we collected. So as you can see, the inputs are in a form of um, categorical variables or over a range and uh, then of course there were a lot of missing pieces as you can see here and some spurious data was also there so we spent some time in uh, pre-processing the data and i think one of the important parts was us for us was to clean this data so as you can see uh, for example we had earlier <clears throat> um, age groups uh, there and it was in a certain um, ranges and we converted that into a, a range bound definition here likewise as you can see here we had household numbers which are varying from one to six plus we converted them into um, through one court one hot encoding we converted them into the variables as it is listed down here likewise the relevant errors were fixed as well and so on based on um, either averaging of the data and other related data cleaning measures and it took us took a reasonable part of our time once the data was processed like it's uh, defined here through the data model here and then the relevant data sets here we were ready to uh, start looking at the data mining algorithms which we shall employ and after due consideration we chose the decision trees decision trees why because it allows us it is a first of all explainable completely and it has a, allows us to match uh, what the rules that we we formed during um, uh, the first part of the project in um, in the machine reasoning uh, project um, and also looked at augmenting those rules accordingly so now once that was done um, we used the uh, um, the id3 algorithm by which we are able to which essentially follows on information gain and uh, while we ran that algorithm in code as well we decided to go um, uh, to test the <clears throat> the outcomes by also running 
the information gains as was required as as we, <coughs> as we go through the uh, through the build up of the decision tree we started looking at the various information gains so just to be clear there are uh, this is how we we build up as we can see we started first of all finding the first level 1 decision tree and information gains versus the target of finding the car type which could be american or european or japanese or korean we looked at these variables as you can see here there are these six predictor variables we chose from which had been duly processed and transformed right the various inputs and we realized we found that after due calculations we we saw that the information gain was the maximum in car expenses and hence car expenses forms the top of the decision tree and as we successively go through the calculations and the build up of the tree we finally hit upon this uh, decision tree as you are seeing here in the screen and um, we have kept it to uh, uh, the depth level as 3 so that also to avoid over learning at the same time also seeing that the decision tree doesn't be become um, um, specific so that the new data sets are going and giving wrong indication so this is we created two decision trees one decision tree for the car make and another tree decision tree for the car type and once that was done we incorporated those um, rule sets into the previously defined rule sets so um, with that uh, we were able to with that we were able to um, update the um, um, the rules that uh, help us in making recommendations on the car make and car type and now the car make and car type are a combination of expert rules heuristics as well as heuristics either tested by the data mining or the rules that we defined by the um, by the data mining through the decision trees so that's um, the the scope that we then uh, did as part of um, the second project in reasoning system here so that very much concludes it uh, here